Hey, Janie. Hey, Paul. You'd better be careful with the bow birds. Those lovely earrings she's got on. Gee, Dave, I hadn't even thought about that. Oh, it's true. They really like shiny things, They do, know. don't they? They take all sorts of jewellery and mm. bottle tops, but not these earrings. Hello, and welcome to Wildlife Warriors. We've got a great story for you today. Yep, it's about two me friends, all the way from Australia. What, Jane and me? Oh, Dave, oh, that'd be nice, but no. Today's animals are the burrowing betong and the golden bandicoot. Now, these are very special animals. Oh, they got pretty silly names, though, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Not real clever names like a Dave over a dinosaur. Oh, what? Oh, Claus, there's no need to be cruel. You just tell us about your friends. Right here. Well, the burrowing betong is a mini kangaroo. It used to live on the mainland of Australia, but now it only survives on four tiny islands off the coast. Oh. I bet you they live in a hole in the ground, well, like a rabbit. Of course, a burrow is the name of an underground home, isn't it, Jane? You're absolutely right, Davo. Oh, who says I'm <laughs> dumb? Just about everyone who meets you, that's a... Claws, the betong makes nests out of plants and leaves and, like a lot of animals, they sleep during the day and they come out of their burrows at night. What's that horrible noise? <laughs> it is an awful noise, isn't it? Davo, that's Claus. Now, Claus is a little bit nocturnal himself. He's always going off to sleep, being a koala, very drowsy. So we just give him a <coughs> shove here. Wake up, Claus. No. <coughs> well, now you're awake, what does your little mate have for dinner, hey? Nuts, just like you. Oh, hey. Claus, there's no need to be like that, is there? No. Actually, Davo, they eat things like nuts and termites and seeds and fungi. Fungi? I knew you'd wonder what that was. That things like mushrooms. Oh. Now, my other friend, the golden bandicoot, is a bit like a giant hamster. It is only left on a few tiny islands. Yes, they're strong little animals with tough claws to dig for food just like the burrowing betong. Yeah, and they eat insects and small animals. Well, if they're so tough, why are they endangered? <laughs> That's a good question, Davo, but unfortunately, when white people first came to Australia, they brought cats and foxes with them. <gasps> you mean the foxes and cats ate them? Yep, Davo, sure did. I lost a lot of friends that way. Oh. You see, foxes and cats don't belong in Australia, and the poor old Betong and Bandicoot didn't know how dangerous they could be. But it's not all bad news. Scientists have started putting burrowing betongs and golden bandicoots back into their old homes. They fenced off part of the desert to stop the foxes and cats getting in and collected some of my mates from an island. <laughs> Is that first class or economy travel? Now that's first class all the way, Davo. And once at their new home, they were given a quick check-up to make sure they'd enjoyed the trip. And while that was happening, Aboriginal trackers were making sure that no foxes or cats had crept back into the area. <laughs> and they're off! Oh, they're off! Oh, Jane, they're not going off. You sure have. Well, they were a bit frightened to start with, Davo, but after a little while, they decided that this looked like a pretty good place. And off they went. Wow, that's great. Isn't that terrific? And it's another success story, Dave. Oh, and, well, if everyone was as caring as the wildlife warriors, the world would be a better place. Oh, that's right. And now it's time to award our wildlife warriors medal. And today, of course, it goes to those great people who helped the burrowing betong and the golden bandicoot, the people of Calm and Whoppet. Now, you explain to us. You're the clever one. Tell us who they are, Dave. Oh. Well, CARB is the Department of Conservation and Land Management and Wobbit is West Australian Petroleum. So, well done. Well done to you and well done Thank to you. them. And Claus, Claus, wake yeah. up. It's time to go. <gasps> go where? Where? Let's go. We have to go. We have to say goodbye. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Oh, well, we'll see you again soon. Yep. Bye. And remember, love, love you because she loves, loves you. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Danny, can you give me a bit of a scratch here? Oh, 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 oh.